hopefully you have done this question by now so the question is calculate the bearing of the starting point O from point B okay so this is where we started so this we had to find the distance OB so we this was given OA is 120 and this is also given which is 110 meters so we figured out that this is a right angle triangle and then we use Pythagoras to find uh, OB which is 160 in two significant figures okay now the question is the next part is calculate the bearing of the starting point A from B so as I discussed in the last video whenever this is what we wrote in bear for bearings uh, you write bearing or bearings and I'm not sure whether you write ba oh, it's bearing not bearings okay so bearing is always from north and clockwise okay clockwise from north if you want to add clockwise from north okay so this is my own definition so whenever you have bearing you always have to draw in north and you go clockwise from the north from the north so this is my north from B so first draw the north this is my north this is the north okay from B and you want to find the bearing of the starting point from the finish point B so let me join it by right uh, by line segment so this is OB okay so let us write what we know okay so we know uh, this is 120 meters this is this is how much this is this was 30 like I'm not going to that okay so we want to find this angle so going clockwise you want to find this angle suppose this is the X okay now to find that X we know that this is a right angle okay from the previous examples we saw this is 150 let me go over that again this is 150 given no sorry this is not given so this is given to be 30 and these two are co interior angles in a parallel line so this is 150 this is given to be 120 150 plus 120 is 270 so this is a right angle so that's important so this is a right angle okay now we also know that this angle is this bearing is given to be 120 using the same uh, the, these this angle and this angle are co interior angles this is a transversal so this angle and this angle are adds up to 180 so if this is 120 degrees this is 60 degree okay so now we want to find this you want to find this angle X so well if you can find this angle so let us call this angle the angle inside the triangle to be say y so if you say this is y what can you say about angle x plus angle y plus angle 360 sorry 60 i just gave you the answer <laughs> so x plus y plus 60 the angles at a point angles at a point adds to 360 so i can say that is 360 so if you take away 60 from both sides i can say x plus y has to be 300 okay uh, let me show you for those who struggle to understand these steps so you're taking away 60 from this this side so taking away 60 from this side so 360 minus 60 is 300 so i can say x which is what, what i want to find is 300 minus y does it make sense 300 minus y will give me x so i will find angle i'll have to find angle x okay so let me delete this now i don't need this so that you can see the main thing so we know this is 120 this is 110 degrees this is 160 i'm not writing this you can write though so now with respect to this angle which is y we know this is the hypotenuse so i'm not labeling the hypotenuse what is this side with respect to this angle so yes this angle this is the opposite am i right this is the opposite and this is your adjacent so you have got so for sine is opposite over hypotenuse you got ka cos is adjacent over hypotenuse and toa toa 
So you've got O and A, and you want to use which ratio? So, well, this is 2 over is smiling, okay, because O and A. So, this will become, I can write 10Y is equal to uh, O divided by A. So, taking 10 inverse of both sides, I'm not writing that step, so, but you can understand Y is 10 inverse of O divided by A. So, Y is 10 inverse of, what, where is my O? O is 120 divided by A, which is 110. So, let me get the calculator out. Always check your setting, whether the calculator is set on degrees. And see, yeah, it's good I checked. It's in radians. I have to set, change that into degrees. Then go exit, and then go shift 10, bracket 120 divided by 110. Close the bracket. That is 47.8, 47 47.4. Uh, if you want to round it as a whole degree, it's 47 degrees. So this is 47 degrees. Okay, but the bearing is X. So let me write it like this. Bearing of O of O from B from B is nothing but 3, which is x, we have said that is x, is 300 minus y. So we know y, that is 300 minus 47. You don't need a calculator, so I'll do it without the cal. 300 minus 40 minus 7. Okay, so this becomes 260 minus 7 which is 253 degrees. So this is in three digits, so that's the bearing. So let us check the answer. It's always good to check. So 300 minus 47 is 253 degrees. So this bearing, so the bearing of BO from B is, what was the answer? My memory is very short, 253 degrees. Okay. So uh, I'll see you in the next video with more examples on trick.